We're in Windows Server 10 and I'm going to show you how to share a folder. So uh, sharing folders allows you to have many people if you want or individuals uh, to have access to a particular folder that's available on the network. So if we go to our file explorer and we browse to uh, our particular server, we'll just do localhost, so that is the local computer that we're on, we can see that there are only two shares, the netlogon and sysfall uh, folder that are by default created when we make a uh, domain controller. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new share that will show up after we create it in our local host computer. So we're going to right click on this folder called test1 and we can go to properties or we can go to share with. But we're going to go to properties just so we can see all the different tabs. All right, so now we're in properties. Uh, you can see the sharing tab and the security tab. Now these work together. So the sharing tab uh, allows you to share just by clicking on share. And then you can type in the name of the user or the group that you would like to add. And you click add. And then you click the drop down to give them access. So in Windows Server 10, you just have a couple of options here, read and read write, or just to remove it altogether. So if I click read write, uh, then, and I click share, then that will take care of that, and it'll be done. However, if you want to use advanced sharing, click on the advanced box, and then click share this folder. And then the share name is going to be test1 by default, so you can change that at this point. And we'll click on permissions and we have everyone has read-only access. If you want, you can remove that or you can add to it. So I'm going to go ahead and allow the test user account. Click OK. Full access to the test1 folder. Click OK. And now I'm going to go to security. I'm going to make sure that the test user also has rights in the security tab and full access. There we go. Click close. Now if we go into our sharing area, which is network, you click on network and then we did the local host. When I hit the refresh button, we now see that test one is available. Now if I was logged in as the test user, I would have no problem accessing that. So I go double click on test one. Of course, being an administrator, I have full access to everything anyway. But uh, the, now we have the uh, test user has access to this folder as well from a different computer when they remote in.